So, hello, I'm Alexander Löchel. I'm try, well, not to run too much, but, well, I'm a German. It's, if a German could not run, something goes wrong. <laughs> Uh, I want to talk about how Plone competes in business. So, from the other perspective than a vendor uh, or an integrator that works with Plone, I'm a decision maker, but on that we'll be later. First, which is the best content management system? Well, it depends. Why it depends? It's very simple because it depends on the perspective of the user. If the user has requirements that could be fulfilled by a system, then it's fine. If it could not be fulfilled by the system, it's not fine. And it has to come everything together. Sometimes the infrastructure that would be underlined um, doesn't matter for them. How many personnel they have. Sometimes if they do not have enough personnel, they probably choose a commercial system because they believe that there is better support of it. There's also the idea of costs. If you choose open source, it does not mean that it's for free. E open source has its own costs and you should be aware of it. And it sometimes really depends on how much time you have to implement the system. Well, why I do this? I'm a department head of a German university. The NMU is currently the un German university with uh, the most students. Um, in my position, I'm more a um, manager and a decision maker, not a developer anymore. And from this point, I have to know what different content management systems do and should be able to compare and choose the right one for us. Why the right one for us? Well, at the moment, the NMU does not use Plone. It used an old proprietary systems from uh, a f company called Infopark. The system is called Fiona. It is not, um, or it's on the end of its lifetime, so we are trying to choose a new system. And, well, my belief is Plone is one of the best content management system for that case. And for our university. But I also see that there are a lot of political questions I have to answer, and I want to give that question back to the community, because then they could see what they need to do better marketing, to sell Plone to institutions like us. And we are not a small institution. At the moment, we have round about 700 portals, round about 600,000 individual sites that we are serving. We have, at the moment, only less than 1% of our users that we expect to work with our web system as authors. It's approximately 2,000 authors. And I guess if we introduce next year an intranet, it will increase massively. Well, if we look at Plone as a vendor, Plone has a roadmap. Plone has a strategy how they will evolve in the next few years. And there's one thing where, uh, in the roadmap that says, What's the focus of Plone? Plone is the general purpose web content management, often used to create and manage public uh, websites, intranets, and extranets. And it's best on complex 
duration and cost terms. Well, but back on the wider scope, if we choose a content management system, it depends sometimes, is it or will we be able to buy a system or did we choose open source? Well, open source matters, especially for universities. It's the same belief as in science. If we do not have the system, the code of it, we could not look at it. We could not work with it. We could not share it. it if a scientist publicates, and the thing is that open source is treated like commercial software by federal acquis acquisition regulations. So those question and answer is from the frequently asked question of the Department of Defense of the United States explaining that open source has to be treated as commercial off-the-shelf software and it does not really make a difference. And that's why we sh as a community should not only look at open source competitors, we also have to look at commercial competitors. But who are our competitors? Well, there are different approaches. We can go just over the market share. If we look on the market share, well, WordPress is the dominating system in the web now. Well, that does, that does mean that WordPress is the right system for everything? Definitely not. WordPress is a very good blogging platform, but it's not an enterprise content management system. Well, it's sad to see that Plone is just here with a very, very small market share. But well, the market share is calculated by uh, searching of the uh, meter tag generator. A lot of Plone instances are intranets, are secured pages, or even on public websites like FBI or CIA, the government, uh, the, the generator tag is stripped out. Well, there are other ways to see who are the, our competitors. The Real Story Group always uh, publish once a year uh, a technology vendor map saying which are the important players in which sector. So we should then look at our competitors on the row. So Plone says itself, it is a web content management. So we have maybe to look all uh, other systems up on the blue line to see what they are doing and where are they better than us and what can we learn from them or where are we better and can explain that for our users. Another thing is for us or for me as a university man to say or to look at what does my competitors use. So that's the market share of the CMS used by the German universities was just an evaluation done in March this year. And we see Typo 3 is the dominating system in Germany. Well, it's interesting that Drupal is not on that slide because Drupal does not have any market or uh, huge market share in Germany. Well, if we compare to all universities, well, for our university, that does not fit. We, we are the largest one, so we compare with other large ones. So the German U15, the association of 15 large and research intensive German universities, and the German Institutes of Technologies. So that's maybe the 
educational power of Germany, what they use. There we see type, type of 3 is still the leading system, but Plone is almost everywhere number two or three. Well, indeed, uh, with Infopark, uh, it most often has the same market share, but Infopark, the system is dying, so that doesn't matter. Well, but even then, we look at what's the most uh, or the best universities in Germany. So there was an election of the elect, uh, Alexans Initiative, and that's the universities that's the strongest in research, and that's how the president, the vice presidents, and the chancellors of university decides on to whom we compare. They do not look at web pages or something. They just think about research and uh, teaching. So look at this. Well, uh, Plon and Fiona is still the same level, but not the leading one. Well, but as we look, the NMU is, from an international ranking, Germany's best university. So we have to compare up, not down. If we're looking at uh, times high education ranking, we can look at the universities worldwide. Well, if we look then, Drupal is the leading system, but only for the landing pages. If we're looking deeper in the universities, Often there is plown for the faculties, for the departments, and that's where the strength of plown is. It's maybe not the marketing platform the users use, but it's the reliable system in the backside that makes all the work with the student to serve the information on, doing intranet stuff, having uh, write or read protected uh, areas where only someone with authentication rights could read, and so on. So, well, that's a way just to show or think. If we choose something that others of our scope choose, we can do not something wrong. Well, it's the same like the industry thing. There's something called the Gartner Magic Quadrant uh, for uh, different systems, for web content management systems. It's just the buzz uh, of the most uh, of the expensive systems that are used by companies with a lot of money. There we see something like Adobe, IBM, open text or something in it. So le very less uh, open source. And well, what's the problem with that? No one ever got fired from buying Cisco or IBM. So if someone just said, I want to be safe, I want to keep my job, I take one of those. It doesn't matter if it's the right system or if it's the best system. It just is the system that everybody takes. And I really think that's the wrong idea. Well, in Germany, there is, in the last few months, a project called CMS Garden that uh, were 10 community 10 or 12 communities of open source content management systems working to together, going to exhibitions, and present their content management system side by side. Well, it's interesting. If we calculate the market share of those systems together, it's more than 25% of the whole internet that is served by those systems. Well, so, if we think on that, we can make one little suggestion. 
that are communities that are interested in their system and try to promote it. So we can or should have a look at these communities. But, well, is it how really a company or a university choose their content management system? No. I've asked a lot of um, other decision makers why they have chosen their system and, well, it sounds very funny. They said, because we have someone that already knew the system. It doesn't matter what system, just we have someone who knew the system. Or uh, we bought a new web design and the company just can do it with this system. Stupid, isn't it? It should be the other way around. You should say to a designer what system he should style, not the designer choose the system for you. From the security point of uh, view, that's social engineering. You just need a designer that's doing well, serving it on your side, and well, you have the the best attack point you can get. Well, on my point of view, the only acceptable reason to choose a system is that it's the best reasonable compromise on fulfilled requirements. If it's not, give another try. Well, let us take a look at a few systems. Well, first of all, Plone. In my opinion, Plone is one of the best content management systems for the audience of a university, of a larger governmental institution, of an NGO or something that has a lot of information and want to secure it and ha want to have a stable system that works for a long time. Well, Plone is very, very secure. I will hold another talk about uh, the security study of for content management systems that was uh, produced by the German uh, Federal Department of uh, Federal Office for uh, IT Security. But well, Plone is announced as this system with the lowest amount of vulnerabilities and the best architecture on security point of view. Well, Plone or the community on Plone has established and encouraged standards. Well, if you look at systems like the ZDB that is out there for more than 15 years, it's non-SQL, the buzzword of today. We use it since that time. TAL was once a good thing because if designers working with something like uh, front page or something to do, always their templating system breaks the editor. TAL does not. Theme proxies, the ASO, all the time as I've been on meetings with other university, as I show the ASO, they are, oh, wow, that's possible? And that comes out of this community, we have to take a look at it. And, well, Plone encourage the implementation and fulfillment of standards. Web Accessibility Initiative is one really important thing, because all governmental institutions in, the, in Europe and in the US, and I believe in most of the uh, nations of the world, have to be accessibility for everyone. And most of the systems are not. And I'm really proud that Plone was one of the first content management system that fulfills uh, web content accessibility guidelines too, and tried also to implement the authoring toolkit accessibility guidelines and uh, the application guidelines. And that's the thing that we really should encourage to do it because that's a reason for other systems to be thrown out of the selection. If they are not accessible, 
it's knockout criteria. Well, and another thing is, uh, from my point of view, Plown is just much more than a content management system. Plown is a content integration framework. It always has been a decision or uh, discussion if Plown is a framework or not. I believe in this case it is, and you could, I could not imagine any uh, use case you could not integrate into Plown that's content centric. So Plown has its strengths with it, and there's a reason. I want to come back later on because that is why Plone is not only a content management system. It's a portal system, it's a collaborative system, and much, much more. And what one thing that really matters is the community beyond a system. You have communities that are strong in marketing, strong in technologies, strong in party. But, well, it has to come everything together. And that quote from Arnheim, I'm not sure it was a girl I said, that said it to Eric, I don't know what you do, but I want to be part of it. And I think that shows that the Plown community really is something wonderful. And we should strengthen it and work with them. Well. Now I want to introduce you some other systems. Just a very short overlook. So in Germany, uh, the market leader is Typo3. Typo3 was, from my opinion, once a really good competitor to Plone. But they have the same problem as we have had with Soap. They just decided in 2008 that they will stop the development of the normal branch of Typo3 and restart from scratch. They haven't finished it till now, but they stop everything they believe in before, that they never break backward compatibility, that they say that they're the safest PHP system. Well, the security study shows it's not. And they're doing a lot of marketing. They're really, really good at marketing. Well, they have a completely different approach on content management than us. That's the back end. It's huge back end. You can do a lot with it, but it's so complicated. A lot of users are just afraid to look in it. But one thing we can learn from that community is that even very cheap marketing firms, in this case, uh, published long-term support roadmap, shows how or which system which and version is supported how long. And well, it's just one document on the web page with a um, visualization, and it's makes a lot of decision maker happy to see something like that? Why shouldn't we do something like that for Plone? Well, if we're looking on the other side, on a commercial system, I believe in the European market, First Spirit is the best commercial system. It has a completely different approach than Plone. It started, it's even older than Plown. And it has a lot of similarities with Plown, but done another way. They use also a non-relational uh, database at the ground. They use the Berkeley DB. They're using, or uh, they're built on top of Java. And they're doing only static exports. Well, in the last few years, they have seen that that's the wrong way, so they expo uh, export uh, Java servlet pages so that they have something dynamic, but they have a separate authoring system, 
publishing it to an uh, application server where it's interpreted and served. Well, the problem is, on university level, you could not do an incremental export. For a press department, if you have to wait more than 15 minutes that your press release is online on your web page, and the system could not provide it, it's the wrong thing. But the system is very interesting to look into deep. Well, that's point of view how they uh, define their architecture of their authoring system. So they have different stages and different underlying um, systems. They could use almost every uh, data storage they want. It's just like us today with SQL Alchemy. We can just import every relational data in Plone. We have the set to be something we can use from all, almost all sources the data. They have the possibility to interact with all kinds of application servers, so they are not bound to one technology. First Spirit told always in a marketing buzzwords, they are just selling the best of breed software. Well, Plone does also, Plone does not everything on their own, but just a point of marketing. So what's interesting on that system is that they have two clients, one through the browser, through the web, and a separated thick client in Java. And they can do a lot with that. They have something like drop and, oh, the pictures are very bad. They have drag and drop support for images into, they ha even have something ready like uh, the idea of deco. What's interesting in, is they can modify the schema of every object type everywhere in the content tree. <coughs> So if they want to add a new field, they do it. It has some flexibilities, but, well, for our university, it's approximately 2 million euros fee for starting with it. And I do not believe it's the right system because of the static export. Well, they have nice tools. Well, it's a kind of workflow editor, so they have a very strong workflow system also, and they're selling things like an app center, so for their pluggable systems. Another system is Easy System, Easy Publish. It's a very strong system in meteors, and they try to go into universities also. Well, it's an old image of the back end, but, well, they have a good idea, or I believe one of the best ideas of the PHP systems, how to modelize uh, all the content structure of its systems. And they focus on marketing, definitely on marketing. They have even more systems on analysis than in the core than to managing content. And they're doing a lot on marketing to sell the system, even if the core is open source. Well, I guess WordPress, everybody knows, but WordPress has a very, very simple user interface for starters. Maybe we should look at those, where are they better? Even Mac yet said that the um, form editor of them is much easier to use than Plone form gen. Why not learn from them? And one example is just to choose the header image of the system is very, very simple. We have to provide a similar, simple approach to style a site without going into the deep of theming, even into the deep of Diazo. Well, another system is Hannon Hill. Hannon Hill is a content management system that's very strong in education 
uh, systems in the US? Well, at the moment, they are switching from the Cascade server to a Cascade cloud system. So the cloud-bound system is nothing for European University with a very, very strong um, privacy idea. So that's not allowed. Well, I guess everybody knows Drupal. Drupal, yeah, is maybe a nice system for marketing, but they do not have a stable system over major versions. So for a large university that has to provide the web pages for more than 10 years, 20, or they could not switch over to another system that quick. Drupal is definitely not the right thing. Well, let us take again a look at uh, the vendor map. Well, Plone is, from the perspective of the, the vendor map, the only open source tool that is on three lines on web content and experience management, portal and content integration, and collaboration and social software. And that's a thing we already knew if we are talking to persons that use Plon in intranets. It's more a portal thing, and it's much more than a simple web content management system from the belief of most of them. So we have to compare with SharePoint. Oh, that's the map of the horizontal portal, so like Microsoft, Oracle, SAP, Liferay, and so on. It's silly that Drupal is in here, but Plow not. That should be changed. <laughs> well, SharePoint is one of the competitors, but we see in a lot of setups that Plow is used instead of SharePoint because of its better flexibility. It is a drop-in replacement for most intranets for the use cases they have. And it's a very good replacement for SharePoint. But we should look at SharePoint. SharePoint has its strength. And sometimes it's good even to work together with it. So on all the Microsoft products, Word, Excellent, Access, and so on, well, SharePoint is there a bit better. And it has a system to do clickable uh, application development. Well, for computer scientists, SharePoint is very strange. They do not understand it. Plone is just easier to understand, but someone who do not know okay, systems can go through it and work with SharePoint. Well, Liferay is not a system. I should not go there too deep. I have some conclusions, recommendations from my point of view. The first thing is the community. The community of Plone is really great. And you should become part of it if you are not. Go sign a contributor agreement and help Plone make better. I want that we, as a community, had to make Plon the best content management system for our target audience. And, well, we, therefore we need to get things done. Maybe we have to rework the roadmap on a marketing perspective. We have to contribute from code. But code is not the most important thing. Documentation, tests, even marketing ideas, everything goes in. So if someone is not a programmer, he also can contribute in a very easy way. And as Liz always said, fuck you, do something. And I believe we should do it because not always the best system wins the battle. And we should not do it wrong if we're doing not marketing, we do it like that. And everything is about communication. We should communicate with others and communicate our ideas of plan, of content management, out to the world. And that's the way 
I like to say to you, go out and spread the word that Plone is one of the best content management systems and should be used. And my opinion is, a very easy way, try to help make Plone the default content management system for universities. If a student afterwards is asked which content management should, system we should use, they introduce Plone to their companies. And the other side is something like Plone. We should make Plone available for even small sites someone want to use without doing all the administrative work after it. So just let's rock and make Plone even better. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, just as a side note, um, the thing that you mentioned about being able to uh, replace the logo of the site, that's a uh, Plone improvement proposal for Plone 5. Yeah. It took, it's crazy that it took so long to get it in there, but it look, looks like it's going to happen. So. Yeah. But it needs to get up. Dylan? <laughs> uh, so to answer your question about why why um, Acquia is in the Gartner quadrant, you have to pay, we talked to Gartner about it, you have to pay about $100,000 to talk to them and they say it's not to get in there, it's to get their consulting services, yeah. but more or less it means you pay $100,000. Yeah. So. If anybody's wondering why the source doesn't make it, there it is, in yeah. a nutshell. So, thank you.